Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this segment of the video, we are going to see how to enter data in Power BI Desktop. So far, we already know that we can import data with various data sources, sources like Excel, SQL Server, Access Database, a text file, a CSV file or a web-based file as well. There are many other sources from where we can import the data that we have seen in our previous video as well. Now let's take for an example that I have a very small data set and I want to generate a report for that. So why will I do an additional effort of going to the Excel file or an Access Database and create the table and import it from them? Instead of doing this such a rigorous work, what we can do out here is we can manually create the data in Power BI desktop itself. So how to create this table and how to enter the data manually will be having a better understanding of this in our practical approach. Hello friends and welcome. In this video, we are going to see how to enter data in Power BI. So let's go ahead and let's see how it is done. So in order to do that, we have to go under the home tab and under the home tab, do you see something called as enter data? Now how it is different from get data? The only difference between this is when I click on enter data, it helps me to feed the data manually to Power BI. Whereas when I do get data, I am importing data from different different various sources all right so we will be seeing how to enter data manually in power bi so i will simply click on enter data the moment i click on enter data it uh, create uh, gets me a new window which says create table i will simply go to this particular column and i'll simply type a name let's say john i hit enter i will again go ahead add some new more names let's say smith we have diana and we have rose all right so we i have this column number one if i want to insert a new column you see there's an asterisk mark out here i will simply click on this asterisk mark and we'll rename this as the age let's say for an example and this will be our name so name and age let's say John is 30 just a sec John is 30 then we have 25 Diana let's say 24 and Rose around 28 okay so this is how you enter the data manually if I want to add new columns I will simply click on this button and if I want to add new rows I will simply click on the asterisk mask in the row section all right so this is how you can enter the data manually all right so out here if you can see uh, that below it is also asking me if you want to name this table yes uh, it, let's say that this is um, employee database employee database in which I have the name and I have their age that's it and the moment I simply click on load it will load the data right on my power bi screen or if you want to make any kind of changes I don't think so that will be requiring any kind of changes as it's a very simple data with the name and age to it. So I'll simply click on load. The moment I click on load, this particular table will get added to my Power BI screen. As you can see, I have age, I have name as well. So let's say I'll create a graph if I want to add names and let's say their age. So I'll be getting a simple, simple uh, column chart which says uh, the name of all the employees and their respective ages along with it. Okay, I'll simply delete this. Now this what we have learned how to enter data manually by typing it. We can also enter data using a, a clipboard function that is the control C that is copy and paste function where I'll simply copy the data from specifically let's say Excel sheet and get it pasted in our module out here. So I will simply click on enter data. All right, again, I have this uh, create table right in front of you. Let me quickly go to the Excel sheet that will be, work, uh, will be fetching the data from. So I will simply go to my Excel sheet now All right, so out here you can see my Excel uh, sheet in which I have some more columns. I have some product, units, unit price and the total cost along with it. So what we will be doing, we will be copying and pasting this data in our uh, Power BI screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy this. So the shortcut key is control C. I have copied this data. Let me quickly move to the Power BI screen. All right, so we are back to our Power BI screen. I'll simply click here and I'll just press Control V. The moment you keep on Control V, it is getting me all the data that which which was being seen in our Excel sheet, right? Now this time we will say uh, product database. 
we are near uh, naming renaming this particular table as product database and in which uh, as you can see uh, the very first row it has automatically taken as the column header it is also giving you an indication which says the first row of data that you pasted has been promoted to column headers if you don't want to you can simply undo the headers but as we wanted I will simply close this and similarly you can add here manually as well but as of now I won't be needing this so I'll simply click on load all right so i have the product database out here you can see on this drop down menu i have the product so i'll simply drag this product and their cost along with it so it's in a tabular format all right a simple tabular format let's make it into a graphical format let's say a pie or let's say a column chart okay we also have some donut chart along with here which will give you a better understanding that how this report is being shown all right so guys this is how you enter data manually using the enter data feature in power bi all right hopefully you guys like this video see you until next time